a new day has arrived and today I'm going to see how my epoxy the gate mask project turned out and I'm going to continue working on the tank project I've got four bolts to mount or to screw in to mount that thing properly and that will conclude the tank project so hopefully that's only like a half an hour job we'll see stay tuned well the first edition of the gate mast project I taped everything all up to prevent epoxy from gumming up the hinges or from sticking the free side to the mast and the second time around I was a little bit wary of masking everything off so I didn't and I used extra epoxy just to make sure that things stuck well it stuck so I'm gonna have to force that thing open and we'll see whether or not <laughs> uh, we can break it open or break it off one of the two But both. There's definitely epoxy in the hinge. And it didn't stick to the mask. No. Nope. Back to the drawing board. This is not a success. Well, I'm thinking that the epoxy that I'm using may be substandard. It's a two part epoxy, and I borrowed some of it from a friend. I put it in spice jars, but I, I've had it for about three months, I think. And I think maybe there's something wrong with the composition. It's still gummy. It's been two days that the uh, epoxy has been curing on the mast and it's still gummy. I was able to free up the hinge. It's still really stiff, but it, it, feels, it feels gummy. There's no other word for it. So I'm going to try a different product. I'm going to try some JB Weld, which I don't have on the boat with me at the moment. So this will be attempt number three for the mask gate. And um, we'll just have to see how it goes. If this one doesn't work, I maybe I'll just revisit the whole mask gate plan and uh, come up with a different solution. I don't know. Or maybe I'll cut a notch on the other side of the, the mast on the outside where there's no other sail track and I can get a, um, a greater amount of the hinge on a flat surface. But that's for another day. That's a different project, I guess. I wanted to get it done. I thought it would be easy, but it's a boat, so no. In the meantime, I'm going to go down below here and see if I can't put some bolts in the mounting tanks of that fuel tank. And hopefully that goes well. <laughs> And doesn't take too long. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. So I managed to get three of the four fuel tank mounting bolts put in. And what you're asking prevented the fourth from going in? Well, as I mentioned, I had filled up the oversized holes in the mounting blocks with epoxy. The fourth one is in a super, super awkward position. There's just barely enough room for me to get my arm or my hand up in there to work on it um, and I can only see with one eye right because I'm peeking around the edge of the tank and so when I put the epoxy in that fourth hole I managed to get epoxy up there but apparently what happened was it it spilled out of the hole so there's epoxy up there but it's not sufficient to fill the hole for me to drill a new hole to put the bolt in so what I have done is to mix up some more thickened epoxy and I have refilled the hole and I used my GoPro the camera that I'm filming myself with now
and my iPad with the GoPro app on it to kind of do a remote just to make sure that I've got enough epoxy up in there and that it's um, not dribbling out. It might dribble out over time um, because it's, you know, it's not solid. It's not like putty when you put it in. It's more like um, honey thick, but still kind of runny. So I'm going to leave that cure for another day and I can't put the exhaust back on. I've got the water lock right here. This is the part that needs to go back in first and then the exhaust hose will come off of that. This prevents water from running back up into the engine. I can't put that back in without that fourth bolt being in because it would just be in the way. I wouldn't be able to get in to put the bolt in at all. So that's going to have to wait for another day, which is disappointing, but that's just the way it is. Right now we've got lots of time because everybody's off work. I'm off work. Everybody's off work. So for the remainder of today, I am going to make a list of all the projects that I need to uh, do to get this ship underway. There are a few smallish type projects that need to be done. So I'm going to catalog them and then uh, create work packages that I can do in you know small chunks. And hopefully it's not too much. Sometimes doing that ends up being a little overwhelming, but it, it needs to be done because there's, there's just so many things. I can't keep track of them all in my mind. And if I've got them all written out, it's much easier to uh, tackle them, prioritize them, and get them done. So that's what I'm going to do. In the meantime, I will bid you adieu and see you another day. Fair winds, following season. God bless.